Here's a quick tutorial on deploying a router in your virtual ESX network. It uses the same router that you may have seen on your VMware training courses. It's a free score router and the download link will be on this page. Assuming you've already got it, there it is on the desktop. We're going to need to upload it to our ESX server. Configuration storage. I'm going to pick where we want to put it, in this case in local storage. I've got a folder there where I keep all my ISOs and images and bits and bobs. So it's on the desktop. Select it. Yep. Click yes and that will upload to the data store. There it is. Right, we're going to want to create a virtual machine that is going to be our router. Select custom and click next. Give it a sensible name and click next. Select where we want to store our virtual machine. Next. Select Linux other Linux 32-bit next. Yeah, that's more than enough. Select the network that you're going to present to the outside of the router. Next. We don't need to create a disk because it's going to run from the floppy image. Next. We're going to edit the virtual machine settings before we power anything on. The reason why we're going to edit it is we're going to, want to add on another Ethernet adapter because it's a router, it's going to have to have two interfaces, and this is our internal interface. So, the floppy that we uploaded earlier, we're going to present to the floppy drive in our VM. That's where we put it. Select that, tick connect at power on. Now I'm just going to go into the options and in the boot options make sure it boots into the BIOS because I just want to check the boot order so that it will boot off the floppy disk first. Let's power that on. So if we go to the console, hopefully it will boot into BIOS. It does. So just skip across to boot. Make sure removable drive devices is right at the top of the list. And it is. So we're going to save changes and exit. And this will boot. Select setup and press enter. It's a mini Linux, so we're going to log in as root, and the password is VMware, all in lowercase. Yes, we want our setup to be done in colour. We want an Ethernet router to type E and return. Accept the default by just pressing enter, and once again, accept the default by just pressing enter. We don't want to change any of the hardware settings, so just press X and enter. OK, so we're going to configure the outside IP address, so type in 621 and type in the new IP address for the outside interface and press return. OK, to change its subnet mask, type in 622 that's already correct. I want the 24-bit mask, so I'll just press enter. Now, to change the default gateway, enter 631, and enter the default gateway for the outside interface, or the gateway of last resort, if you're a Cisco white. Last thing we're going to want to do is to disable DHCP, so type in 625 and press enter. and simply press enter to disable.
Now that's done, we're going to want to change the settings on our inside interface. So to swap to Ethernet 1, just type in 1 and press Enter. Now the same as before, we can use the same numbers and commands to change the IP address, so 621. Press enter. 622 to change the subnet mask. All done. Press X and return. Now we're going to be seeing no a lot. Now we don't want to auto detect modems. Uh, we don't need advanced modem setup. Yes, we do want to trust the local network. No, we don't want to trust the modem links. No. 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 Just press return to accept the defaults and again no, 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 no. Just press enter. No, no, no. <laughs> press enter. No. Yes, I would like to change the passwords. Type in a new password for root and hit return. Then retype. Type in one for the user admin. And again. And then type in a password for PPP, not that we're going to use it. And type in again and hit return. Press enter. And back at the main menu we want to save the current config and exit. So press S and enter. And our router will reboot. If we just wait, as you can see, those are the correct IP addresses. Okay, so just to test on a machine that's behind our new router, I'm going to ping the interface of the router we've just set up. Yep. And just to make sure that it can route outbound, I'm going to ping 4.2.2.2 and that replies. So I know my router is up and it's passing traffic outbound. Now what you'll find is, if you don't get a ping reply, what you've probably done is got the networks the wrong way round. You've joined the inside to the outside, etc. So just swap them around. If you don't get a ping response, it just means probably you've got the network adapters on the wrong way around. So what's on network adapter 1, swap to network adapter 2.